Only six years after its most recent entry, Super Smash Bros. has returned, and for the first time it makes its home on both the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Wii U. This review will be taking a look specifically at the home console version. Is this fighting crossover worth returning to, or is it just best to leave it alone? Super Smash Bros. concept and gameplay has generally stayed the same throughout the years. Characters from some of Nintendo's most famous franchises come together to fight against each other in various modes. In the normal Smash mode, players can select from three different game types, from the standard time battles, to limited live stock matches, to a coin collecting frenzy. Each of these modes can have custom rules. There are also two other Smash modes, Special Smash that has more rules and statuses that can be customized, and then there's 8-player Smash. As the name suggests, 8-player Smash allows up to 8 players to be on a field. Players can use a combination of Wii U controllers and GameCube controllers if you have the GameCube adapter for the Wii U. You can also use Nintendo 3DS as a controller if you have Smash for 3DS. These rounds can be quite hectic with 8 players fighting for victory on the field. It can be quite enjoyable, albeit difficult to see, not all of the stages are accessible. In this mode, the game only allows you to pick from larger maps. Some of the maps can cause the camera to zoom out really far if all players are spread out. More stages become available as the amount of players in a fight decrease. There's not much to say about the stages. There's a total of 46 stages to choose from, with close to half of them being new to the series. Each stage also has an Omega version, one single long platform with no environmental hazards. It's an aesthetically changed Final Destination, supposedly designed for tournament use. Overall, these stages all look amazing on the Wii U, and most are wonderful to play in. A large amount of the stages are available at the very beginning of the game, which is the same as the characters. There are 51 playable characters, with a lot of familiar faces returning, and some new ones. A good majority of the rock is available to you as soon as possible, with only 8 characters that need to be unlocked. While this allows players to quickly play their favorite characters, the feeling of excitement when you try to unlock new, unexpected characters is gone. Instead, it's been replaced with a feeling of achievement. Similar to previous Super Smash Bros. iterations, in order to unlock the 8 other characters, certain criteria must be met, such as finishing a challenge or playing a certain amount of matches, after which a new challenger will appear and challenge the player to a 1 vs 1 single stock match. While these instances are few and wide, they were a bit memorable since it felt the CPU was generally tougher to defeat than previous versions of Smash Bros. Once defeated, the challenger becomes available to be played throughout all the modes. Smash for Wii U also comes with a notable local multiplayer mode called Smash Tour. Smash Tour is a mode where players travel among a board collecting characters. Throughout the board, there are also multiple icons that can increase stats in all characters a player has. Whenever two players come into contact, an event can occur. This event can be a minigame such as home run contests or target blasts, but the usual will be a quick battle with certain statuses. The winner of the event typically wins an item and the character of the second place player, while others lose their fighter entirely. The board also contains a large amount of trophies that can be used to either give you an advantage during the event or set an opponent at a disadvantage. Characters from other Nintendo games can also randomly enter the board. These characters can have different effects on the game board itself or have an event start if touch. After the set amount turns, all players engage in a smash with their accumulative stats using their characters as lives. This mode is addictively fun, as it creates the need for players to adapt to characters they're not familiar with. It also has a strategic aspect since everyone can see the field and move simultaneously. Players will be asking themselves, is it worth battling over a character or just better to up their stats? While that's all in local multiplayer, Smash also supports online multiplayer, allowing you to play with friends or with anyone. Playing with friends allows you to create or join a private match room with anyone in your Nintendo network. You also have the option to bring a second local player into the room with you. Playing with anyone allows you to play for fun, which doesn't keep track of stats, or for the first time in Smash history, the ability to play for glory, where your stats will be recorded and you'll play on Omega stages with no items. While playing, we experienced frame dropping whenever we played just for fun. But while playing for glory, the frames didn't drop unless someone new had just joined the free-for-all match, and it was almost unnoticeable when playing a 1 vs 1 match. Another first for Super Smash Bros., and Nintendo in general, is the use of Amiibos. Amiibos are small figurines with NFC chips built in that were released at the same time as Smash for Wii U. Smash's amiibo support has the figurine customized in artificial intelligence that adapts as it plays. Fighting against the amiibo causes it to level up, becoming a more difficult opponent. The amiibo is a neat concept, but it's a little bit lacking. There's a good amount of joy in leveling up the amiibo and fighting it, when it's not making poor decisions. There were several instances where our amiibo jumped off the ledge to its own death, or just made generally bad moves. 
you may also find joy in customizing the stats and moves of the Amiibo's character. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U also allows you to build custom stages and custom characters. You can customize an Amiibo by setting their movesets and changing their stats by feeding them power-ups you've collected. Those same power-ups can also be equipped to customize a fighter from the roster. While a character from the roster can't have their stats as drastically changed as the Amiibos, it's still possible to set custom moveset for them to use. Smash has an option whether to use custom fighters in battle or only having the character's default moveset. The power-ups and movesets aren't given to you right off the bat. Instead, the majority of them are earned in other game modes. There is no adventure mode such as the Subspace Embassy from Brawl. Instead, there's a multitude of modes available to the player. Classic mode is somewhat similar to Melee's own classic mode, where the players battle several different opponents in different stages until reaching the boss character. The main difference in the latest version is it's a little less linear and at times you can choose your own teammates. Outside of classic mode, there's special orders which consist of two separate modes. Master Orders and Crazy Orders. Master Orders consist of spending coins to face certain challenges to get prizes. Meanwhile, Crazy Orders is a one-stock endurance mode where you try to complete as many challenges as possible within a 10 minute time limit, and it's completed by facing the boss of Crazy Hand. Returning from Brawl are also Events, All-Star Mode, and Stadium Games. In events, players have to fight under set conditions in order to get unlockables. All-Star has you fighting against the entire roster in a one-stock survival with some items to help you on your journey to victory. Stadium games consist of minigames such as fighting a horde of enemies, destroying the environment by hitting a ticking time bomb into it, and the home run contest where players compete to see who can knock Mr. Sandbag the furthest. All of these modes are available to be played solo, and with the exception of special orders, they can also be played in co-op or with a group. If you've come for a great single player experience, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U probably isn't the game you're looking for. This game is clearly meant for multiplayer, which isn't a bad thing. It's a game that's worth calling friends over to gather on the couch. It still gives the feeling of excitement and competitiveness that the original Smash Bros. gave us 15 years ago. Though personally some kind of single player adventure would have been appreciated, Smash for Wii U is a highly polished game that will most definitely be an experience you and your friends will enjoy. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U gets an 8 out of 10.